Now at noon, a show of unity. Students at Coatesville High School are coming together today, just days after some students were seen posing with racist symbols on social media. The disturbing image not only caught the attention of school administrators, but also police in Chester County. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Rahul Solomon. I'm News reporter David Spun is live near campus where students have really gathered for Stand Against Hate. David. Rahel and Jim, it is a difficult day outside of Coatesville Area Senior High School. About 200 students walked out of class in a unity message to really tell people that they're not going to stand for these racist messages. Now, it all started just a few days ago. There were pictures posted on social media of students off campus that carved racist messages in pumpkins. Now, we know that profanity was used, KKK symbols, swastikas, other uh, derogatory symbols were carved into these pumpkins. This happened off school, so those students were not disciplined or arrested, but it caused a lot of uprising here on campus. Now, this view from Chopper 3 shows those 200 plus students outside of school today. They decided to walk out a little bit after 9 o'clock this morning, and they want to do it to really get their message across. I spoke to a student, a female student, she's an 11th grader, who was very emotional today. She was not allowed to speak to us on campus. She had to leave campus to talk to us. But she said about a week or so ago, there was a doll found in a cross-country locker room, a dark-skinned doll that was hanging to a locker tied by its neck. Take a listen. Honestly, the pumpkins didn't really bother me simply because they were off school property and it's freedom of speech or however they want to put it. What bothered me is the doll and the doll led to the pumpkins because there wasn't necessary administrative action being taken to, to stop that kind of stuff. So a lot of people felt comfortable voicing their opinions. We are waiting to hear from administrators on camera. We did get this statement from Michelle Snyder, the principal. I'll read it to you. Without question, this kind of violent threat against our students will not be tolerated. There is no place for hate in our schools or in our community, and we simply will not accept this. We will prosecute any threats of violence to the fullest extent of the law in order to protect our students and staff. Now, this situation is a little sticky because I'm told that these threats... The doll threat happened on campus. That's being investigated, but the pumpkin threat actually did not happen on campus. We are waiting to speak to the superintendent, Superintendent Tashner. We're told that the superintendent will come meet us off campus. We tried to go on campus about a half an hour ago when we arrived, but we're told that we are not welcome. We're not allowed to shoot video of the students or talk to them on campus. They have to come speak to us off campus property. We'll stay on this today, bringing the latest later. Reporting live outside. Coatesville Area Senior High School, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, David, thank you.